Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And I want to say to each and every one of you, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energies that you have been sending out to myself. And I want to say um, thank you so much to you, Sagittarians. Okay, what is happening um, in this quartal? And um, you fire sign seems to be having the energy of justice because this year is going to this year of 2018 is going to be the year of karmatic um, there's a lot of cleansing that is going on and a lot of stuff that is going to come in going to be coming out because it carries the energy vibration of a, um, a justice and this a uh, period the first period for you guys which is uh, um, January February March is going to entail the energy of justice coming up for you Sagittarian so it's going to be good because whatever situation that has been transpiring or whatever situation that has been happening there is going to be finally an end to an um, to whatever that has been blocking you and whatever that has been playing against you so this energy of justice is a wonderful positive energy because what it's doing is that whatever the situation that is happening on earth that um, you have been dealing with it is going to finally come to an end so if um, people were having legal situation and that sort of a situation it is finally going to come to an end in this first period so as we look at January we have the energy of the tower this is a fire energy um, a lot of things are going to be removed out of your life a lot of situation a lot of things are going to be explode it's just going to be moved out of your life in the month of January so expect and and expect really in the beginning of January to the 15 it's going to be a really really um, things that are, 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 are happening that is and but you know after that you're going to see that it's a cleansing it's a cleansing you need to release these things because these things no longer serve you so you really had to release these things and I love the energy of this tower because it comes up to say it is time to let go um, a certain uh, certain things career you're going to see that you're changing careers your career is turned finally that is not what you're supposed to do and it's as if the universe comes in and said okay you don't want to let go of this we're taking it away okay so expect this in January whatever the situation is just accept it and uh, um, ask your angels and guides to help you um, forward in the new part because justice is going to come um, and it depends on what energy vibration you're working on justice is going to come and the energy of the tower so if people um, were um, doing you injustice or you were in doing uh, people injustice it's just gonna blow up and you are going to see um, for some people it's going to be good for some people it's going to be like whoa what is happening here so um, be ready for this because January is going to be a month that Wow February is going to be a wonderful month. February is going to have the energy vibration of um, the energy of uh, the star. So um, there is going to be a situation with the energy of the star coming up for you guys. And whatever is happening is that with this energy of the star, there's going to be becoming wonderful positive energies that are coming out. And this is going to be good. Okay. In the month of March, you're going to have to deal with organization, and we're going to see what is going to happen, what is the uh, the situation that is going to be happening with this organization, because we're going to look at the connection, um, because good, positive energies are going to be coming out, and this uh, organization, you're going to be connecting with organization, groups of people. Um, February is going to be a positive month for you, and going on in March, you're going to be connecting with... Um, the energies of people in organization and different sort of organization so it's going to be a positive positive um, time so I'm calling up on the agents and guides of the Sagittarius to show us what the energy of the tower and the star because obviously something is just going to um, uproot and then in February good things are going to be start coming out so let's see what is happening and what makes that the, the magician 
this is wonderful and this is good because with the energy of the magician what it is saying is that you have used all that they gave you all that your spirit guides and angels have given you you have used all of this and you finally finally um, there is balance because you will you have used every strength within your your vein to get this and to remove whoever and whatever has transpired and has done something and this is good because I love the energy when the energy of uh, the towers uh, the tower blow up and the energy of the tower uh, is is a collapsing of uh, um, things that was not built on solid ground and uh, this is going to happen with relationships and that sort of a thing but this is more of something that was unjustly done to you it's going to and lies and all the lies and trick and all the things that was uh, worked against you you're going to see that the uh, end comes and you yourself have something to do with it because you actually went for the truth you actually use the intellectual of who you are to come out of this situation so okay that was good let's see what is here for the connection between the energy of, uh, of the um, the star and uh, the organization what do you have um, the Prince of wands the prince of wands okay this is your energy vibration the prince of one is your energy vibration so uh, this is good let's uh, look especially for the young um, the princess of ones especially um, for you young people uh, so um, whatever the energy of the star and organization whatever that has transpired here um, for you um, princesses it's going to be good so for the people between the ages of 25 and 45 you Sagittarians are going to be um, very much satisfied with whatever is happening let's see what is going to be the outcomes for the Sagittarius in this third period let's see what is going to be the outcome for the Sagittarius in this uh, period you have the king of Pentacles so you have the king of Pentacles so whatever the situation is and whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring some of you are going to see see a situation coming out because um, the energy of the tower comes down um, and you brought the tower down or the tower is actually this is when your angels and guides and uh, come in and said you know end to this situation the situation needs to be end and it's it's an end you know the, the tower is actually something collapsing blowing up you know what that is like that means you know whatever has to be rebuilt it has to rebuild on a solid foundation and with your intellectual um, with all the four um, elements with all the things that you found inside to make this transformation happen it did happen and a king of Pentacles this is someone who's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and what is happening here is that this king this is somebody who is older than 40 this king and this princess of ones in an organization so whatever that has happened the tower is blowing up this king and this princess of one in an organization it's bringing it down and to an end so whatever has transpired these two people this king and this princess of ones in an organization and um, the, 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 the universal energies and guys have blown this whole thing up whatever they were doing is now come to an end but yet still for some of you young women this is going to be between the eight the between um june between what am i talking june between february and um and, and march you 
um, you are going to be connecting with the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is someone in an organization that is going to help you, you um, young ladies out there. So uh, this is wonderful, and this is actually very positive, very wonderful because what is happening here and what is transpiring here is that for you young ladies, it's going to be um, very positive between the, the the last half of February and the beginning of March is going to be a very 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 positive time for you young women as we look at the energy of the tower the energy of the tower can have to do with someone who is a Gemini um, and what is happening is that um, someone who is a Gemini and someone who is either a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is going to be ending okay whatever you have done is going to be ended whatever you have done um, to someone it's going to be ended and this is this is um, for you guys if you have to deal with any of these people um, if you have to deal with a Gemini and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man whatever they had done is is coming to an end because it's justice uh, justice came in and nope uh, justice justice came in so uh, be aware what is happening because good things are going to come for you Sagittarius because you have actually blown up whatever is happening okay because the energy of the tower is a fire energy and you have blown up whatever is happening and whatever has transpired you have thought you know this is it it's not going any further and this is what is going to happen so you stood up and you have stand your ground and you have gone your ground and this is what it brought you back to that you have stand up for yourself and now you are going to be the star because good things is about to happen for you so whatsoever that was around you that what that whatsoever that was happening um, 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 outwards because it's nothing from inwards it's, it's it's all that was happening with people you have to deal with the Gemini and um, the Gemini or Libran is a Gemini I it's a Gemini because it is the energy of the magician which is the energy of the Gemini so whatever that you were dealing with with someone who is a Gemini and the the king of Pentacles in an organization with this princess of wands in an organization this is all blown up now whatever they were doing whatever they were trying to do or whatever it is all blown up now it's just come to an end and you come out as being the start so this is wonderful for you ladies it's a good thing whatever is happening for you ladies is good um, the latest is good um, the, 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 the latest between the ages of 25 and 45 this is a good time for you guys um, end February and begin March is a positive time for you guys okay so let's see what is happening for you Sagittarians let's see what is happening for you Sagittarians I must focus on want to manifest want this is good this is wonderful we would never go so far as to say that the behavior of others is responsible for the way you feel because you have the power to focus and therefore attract the spite the behavior of others in your environment if every time you see something unwanted you realize that in the same moment your awareness of something um, wanted is keen and you quickly turn your attention in the direction of the newly um, emphasized in what you want everything in your experience will continue to improve isn't this wonderful yes it is it's a beautiful card so let's see what the activations of the chakras have let's call upon Archangel Metatron to um, look and see what is happening here so Archangel Metatron show us the Sagittarius what is their message for this first quarter Gaia 
I said, this is good because um, it was just the other day, it was the moon in Sagittarius and Saturn just came out of Sagittarius. So um, the Sagittarius life has been uprooted for a couple of years now. And now there is a balance because the energy of Gaia is coming forth and you have a double energy and don't tell me it's the healing. The Capricorns got this. Capricorns? Somebody got this. Capricorns or the Taurus or the Virgo so you guys receive the same energy so um, for you Sagittarius you have um, the energy of Gaia and energy of Gaia said the frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinity connected to one another just as we are to our greater mother and to the universe that birthed us all isn't this wonderful you guys need to gaze at this the number 29 healing comes in the frequency of healing supports our um, intrix ability to restore our health and oldness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our sense and harmonizing everything accordingly this is wonderful isn't it yes it is so this is going to be wonderful for you guys you have the energy of Gaia and you have the energy of healing also and this is wonderful I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back namaste until next quarter